let's make a Beach Girls glitter charcuterie board. First, I'm going to start by sanding all of my surfaces, front, side, back, edges, just to ensure that there's a smooth working surface once you get started. Next, I'm going to flip the board over and anywhere that I think epoxy is going to drip down, wherever I plan on putting my design, I'm going to use a furniture paste polish. In this case, I'm using Johnson & Johnson furniture paste, but I typically use Minwax. This acts as a barrier between the epoxy and the wood. So when you go to clean off any drips, it's gonna come off super easy. I'll show you in a few parts how that goes. Next is the fun part. So here I'm using Beach Girls Glitter Cannon Beach, a custom black, hidden beach, diamond beach, and two micro finds of Slate River and Silver Sands Beach. There is no rhyme or reason as to how you put your design on there. It is totally your call. I personally like the look of the glitter by itself. Um, I've seen some people who like to mix their glitters and you know add micas and things like that. Personally, I like this look. So this is how I do it. Same with the bottom. Just make the design however you want. Oh, look at that glitter. So pretty. All right, one last strip of the pink because who doesn't love Hidden Beach? Look at that sparkle. So, so, so pretty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about the next part. Next part is when I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and we're gonna scrape that um, residual epoxy off. Remember we talked about the, the paste? This is why we do it. Look how easy this is. I just take a putty knife and I scrape all of the drips off. Now, I will take a palm sander to it to ensure that I get off any of the residual paste that is left on there because it does have an odor to it. So you wanna take your palm sander or hand sander and just really get in there and make sure that everything is off. Here we go in with the wax, well, oil. This is a wood board, so you do need to oil this using a food grade mineral oil and look at that wood come to life. You want to get all exposed surfaces, including the back. I will go in and do the back once I sand everything down, but look how gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness. I love it, I love it, I love it. And here it is finished. Look at that shine, look at the richness in the wood. Everything about it is perfect. We do have some boards um, on the website at beachgirlsglitter.com and then I am also doing a pre-order right now. So if you're interested, check it out.